how to edit your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Again, stuffs are practical. Let's move into it. What's up everybody, this is Sabri from Doubles Production and welcome back to another excited episode of this channel. Today is the day of Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the first week of Adobe Premiere Pro. So we have to cover the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro and then we should move into the something, you know, like Offer Fake, like 3D Studio Max, like Nuke and all the stuff again and again. But first of all, we have to cover the basic video editing of something, uh, I mean Adobe Premiere Pro. This is from other YouTubers. If you watched them, they do something like this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet just subscribe to my channel click, uh, click on the bell icon I don't know how to do that sorry for that but you know how to subscribe I have to share some information with you people that how I upload videos to my channel every Monday I upload one video which is related to video editing compositing visual effects cinematography photography and all these stuffs every Friday you will get a time-lapse of my artwork and that's a pretty cool part of it I really enjoy the time-lapse because it's something like you know um, I don't know how to speak that in English so I hope you understand in today's tutorial, we have to cover Adobe Premiere Pro Basics, which is video editing software. So, without further ado, let's move into my computer screen. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. You can go with any version of Adobe Premiere Pro, but I recommend CC 2017 or 18 or 19 because it has more great stuff, it has more great features that creates more features for video editing. So when you open Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018, you will get this window, which is a recent file window. Here you will get the recent file that you opened recently or you work on recently. To create a new project, you have to click on this new project. If you are not getting this window, just go to file, new and click on new project. The hot key for the new project is control alt n n. There we have a name option, just give the name to the project, I will give a test, okay. The next one is location, where you want to save the project. I recommend to create a new folder inside your project folder. Let's suppose I want to go here, I have this folder and I want to create a new folder and name it to Premiere Project and select the folder just leave other stuff as default, will not go into detail, I will just show you some basic stuffs. So hit OK. So when you create your new project in Adobe Premiere Pro, you will get something like this. This is the interface of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Most of Premiere Pro has the same interface, but in advanced Premiere Pro like in CC 2018 and 19, there is a bit modification, but that isn't a big problem. First of all, you have to understand the interface. I will just go through the interface very fast. So the first thing that I want to talk about is a preview panel. This is a preview panel where you will see the edit video, where you will see that what are you doing in the timeline. If you're creating some effects, you will see it here. This is a source panel. When you import media to the Premiere Pro, you will see that media exactly in the source panel. The are more tab which is effect and control where you can control the effect on the video or on the audio or any other graphics. The next panel is project panel. Now project panel is very necessary because when you are importing your media, your video or audio or graphics or something related, you will see that file here. There are more tabs here. Effect is necessary because it's the library where all the effects are present. So you can apply these effects on your video and you can get a great result. Now the other tabs, they are not that much necessary because we do not use it that much. But when you are working on some complicated project and some big project, the markers are very helpful. But as I said, we are not going into complicated stuffs. We'll just explain a simple and a basic tips and tricks. How to import media files to Adobe Premiere Pro. There are a bunch of methods to import files to Adobe Premiere Pro. But the one which is very easy is to double click on the project panel here and the blank space here, double click. Now I need two videos, one image and one music. So just select and hit open. You see that all of the media are imported to project panel. The other methods for importing your file is when you go to file, import and you can import file here. 
customizing the project panel is very necessary because if you are working on a project in which you use three cameras or two cameras then you will get confused if you are leaving the stuffs messy in project panel you will not understand that what i'm doing to customize the project you have to right click create a new folder and name it to footage or something you want to i needed footage let's suppose and i want to drag and drop these two videos into the footage just select one of the video hold control and drag that into the folder now i want to create another folder and name it to audio music or something and drag and drop this to the audio and if you want to create another folder and name it to graphics or image now my project panel look very professional and very customized so i will know that my videos are in the footage and the audio is in the audio folder and all the things are in their places now how to use the timeline and how to edit the video the first thing that you need for the video editing is sequence in adobe premiere pro as you are using microsoft world and you create a new document the same process here you have to create a new sequence in adobe premiere pro to create sequence there are a bunch of methods the first method is just go back to the project panel then right click new item and sequence you can use this method as well as you can use file new sequence and the hard key is control n when you click on sequence you get this window which is called new sequence window now here are some presets you can use these presets and if you need your own setting custom setting you can go to setting click on editing mood and you get these presets a lot of presets you get for the red cinema for you know 1080 pixels and a lot but if you need a custom one you should click on the custom and all the things are unlocked now so for example i need 24 frames per second video then the size is 1920 by 1080 and also this is 24 frames per second now the audio if you need some more samples of audio you can go here but the default one 48000 hertz is good now what is video previews it's the most important part when your computer is not that much fast and not good so what you should do is you have to decrease down this value you should decrease it down to 1280 by 720 by 640 360 this is the size that you will get in the preview window here so if your computer is not fast you should go with the lower version of this now in my case i need to go with 1920 by 1080 and if your computer workstation is stronger you should go with a maximum render quality and maximum bit depth but in this case i'm not going with these two options here you have to give a name to the sequence for example i want to give the name to be fitness here and now this is the name of the sequence okay so after creating a sequence i get this file in my library in my project and i also get access to the timeline so now i can start editing my video what should I do is I have to go into the footage folder, just double click and you get these two videos that I recently I added into this folder. I want this video first. So double click on the video and this video will come into the source file here and the source panel here. You see that I got access to the source file. I got access to the video. I can move the cursor around and i gotta watch the video i can also get into the audio file and i can check the audio but unfortunately this video has no audio uh, again i can go to the video again and you can select a segment of the video to drag and take so let's suppose i want from here to here now to drag and drop the media file if you need video and audio both what should you do is you have to drag and drop the media from the picture of it so it will give you both the audio and the video when you start your editing and you create a new sequence and when you drag and drop the media you get this warning and what this warning is it says that the sequence setting and the video setting is not matching should I change that sequence setting to the video setting or I should keep the existing setting. So if you want to change, just click on the change sequence setting. And if you do not want to change, just click on keep existing setting. Now, if you don't know what is the metadata of the video file, you can also create a sequence from the video file directly. How to do that is you have to right click on the media file and you have to click new sequence from click. 
when you click on that what you get a new sequence so now here i got a new sequence which have the same exact setting as the media if this is 24 frames per second then the sequence must be 24 frames per second the media file is too small in the timeline and i can't see it and i can't edit it so what i need to do is i have to i have hold this bar and just decrease it down i zoomed in the timeline now everything i do in the timeline it will give me the preview here in the preview panel let's suppose i want to cut this video from here to here in the timeline take that razor tool the shortcut is c and then you should cut that here okay now again i want to move into the move tool or selection tool the shortcut is v so i want it to here so the shortcut is c cut v and we got cut now there is also another shortcut for cutting for example i want to cut this video from here to here what i need to do is i have to click on that video file and then i should press ctrl k now it cut the video and that's very easy to move into now to delete something from the timeline just select it and press delete now there is another case let's suppose i do not want the audio of this footage in the in the timeline what i need to do is i have to double click on the media here i should select the segment i need only the video file of this video not the audio of this one so i have to drag this icon to the timeline and it will give me only the video file if i drag this icon to the timeline it will give me only audio file now what do you see in the timeline there are a bunch of tracks v and a v represents video and a represents audio you can switch on and switch off one of the track if you want to let's suppose i've dragged the audio here and i want to switch off the entire track i can switch that off here the same with the audio m means mute and s means solo now i need to drag another clip to the sequence so what i need to do is double click on another media file and select the segment that you want to drag into the timeline mark in the hotkey is i and mark out the hotkey is o i need only the video file just drag and drop it here and that's great so you see here i got this this is the basics now delete this audio because I do not need this audio. Now I want to add transition between these two clips. So what should I do is I have to go to the effects panels here. If you do not get this effects panel, what you should do, just go to window and there you will find effects here. Just click on it and you will get this window. Now I need to add transition between these two clips. So just go to video transition folder here, expand that and there are a bunch of transitions. Let's suppose I want to go with dissolve and I want to go with cross dissolve. So just drag and drop this between these two files and you will get overlay of the transition just drag and drop and you will get the transition between these two shots so let's play it we got this transition you can play around and create more and more stuff so you can cut some segment from the video if you don't like it you can also add the audio but i will show you how to add the audio so it's the same technique just go into the audio file if you are not getting this project here and there are a bunch of options i mean bunch of panels or tapes you should click on these double arrows and just go to the project test here now i need the audio file just double click on the audio folder and i have the music here double click on the music and you get something like this you can get some part and some segment of the music i need to get this segment of the music just mark in move it here and mark out now i can drag and drop that part of the music to the timeline just simple you cannot drag and drop audio file to the video track here you can only drag it to the audio track so just drag and drop it here and you get the music with the video so let's play it this isn't the end of the of the music so what i need to do just go to the last part by pressing up arrow a down arrow you will go into the last part of, of the media if you are pressing the left or right arrow in the keyboard what you get is you only move the cursor a frame one frame you are moving it to the right and to the left only one frame so up and down arrow is for the starting point and the ending point and left and right arrow for the one frame movement 
Just press on the audio file and press Ctrl K, the same method that I used before. So just delete this part of the audio. So if you want to see this video in a flow and a render mood, what you need to do is just you can press enter for the rendering purposes. So that was the video. These are just the basic things. Now just moving into the next segment which is adding graphic material to the video. Now how to add the graphic material like lower thirds like logo or something like this. You need to go to the project file and you have to import the file that you want to add on the video. So I have imported the graphic file here which is an image. Uh, you will not see it because it's black uh, and the background is also transparent and it shows black so that's why it's, it isn't visible much but you can import anything you want your logo your image or something so just drag and drop this graphic file and move it to the v2 not on top of these videos because if you are dropping this on top of these videos it will remove out the the videos beneath it so i need to be on top of the videos I added a graphics to the video but how to adjust it now in this case I need to go into effects and controls I want to adjust the position of the graphics here I have position this represent X and this represent Y so when you click on the motion here you will get the transform tools and you can move it around so I want let's suppose I want to edit here you can scale it down from the scale and just put it there okay that's great you can rotate it also if you want to now it will be on top of that video anywhere and everywhere you can also decrease the duration of the graphics so after this the graphics will not be visible so you see it it's not visible anymore now the next part is adding text to the video in adobe premiere pro cc 2018 here it has a tool which is called a text tool or a type tool so here you can type text on the video but if you are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014 or CC 2012 or, or the older version then you will not get this type tool. In the older version you will create a text file in a project panel. Just coming to the project panel right click and you will find a text file. Just click on that and you will get access to the text. I want to write here fitness and I want to adjust it here. You can play around with the, uh, with the fonts. Just go again to the move tool or selection tool. And there we go. We got a text on the video. Now the next thing that how to increase or decrease the audio level. Uh, if the audio level is too much, you can uh, detect it from the audio meter here. Always use a normal audio. Now this is a normal audio but I need to lower it down a bit. So how to do that? Just go to the levels here and turn off the toggle animation and then decrease it down to minus five, four, three or something like this. But there is shortcut for this. And what the shortcut is, the brackets in the keyboard is for increasing and decreasing the audio level. But sometime if the audio is much low and you increase this it only increase the value to 6 db but sometime we have an audio which is which you can't hear for that you should go and increase the audio gain to increase the audio gain just press the g button on the keyboard and you get this window so let's suppose i want this to be 2 db increase right 2 and hit ok now the audio level increased so moving into the last part which is uh, rendering this video and saving this video in mp4 format or any other format where you can use it in youtube or generally you can use it so to save the project just press ctrl s it will save the project file and if you want to export this file into a media file press ctrl m so here I got this window. You can go with H.264 format, which is uh, an HD format, but it do not need a great amount of space in your hard drive. To export it to a specific location, just click on the name here, Jim01, and just specify the location where you want to export it. So let's suppose I want this to export it here and name it to final. You can only export video or audio. Now coming into the video setting here, I have an option match source. 
Now match source mean that it will empower the sequence setting to this video setting here. But if you need a lower resolution or higher resolution, you can adjust it here. You can also adjust the frame rate and all the stuffs here. Now, if you need a fast render, you should take to the use previews and it will use the previews that you rendered before and the timeline and those previews will help the render. If you need a better quality, just check on use maximum render quality and hit export. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question about this video or video editing or any other thing, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer you people. And I hope, I hope you will subscribe my channel. You will like it. I mean, you will like the video and you will share it with your friends. And then, you know, that's it. And I will see you in the next video. आदिप आप ऐसा नहीं कर सकते जस्ट डाउन टू दैट मेरी बात सुनो